Hello friends, today we are going to start a new topic on cement which is High Alumina Cement and Portland Slag Cement. Now, if we are talking about High Alumina Cement, then there are some basic differences between High Alumina Cement and OPC in respect to the raw material. So, its composition is very important. Our prime concern is on raw material because by changing the raw materials, the whole property of cement gets changed. In high alumina cement, the same thing is happening. So, it is important from where we get raw material for high alumina cement. Its composition is very different from Portland cement. The raw material used for its manufacturing consists of 40% bauxite, 40% lime and iron oxide with a little percentage of ferric oxide and silica, magnesia, etc. which are grounded finely at a very high temperature. As calcium trialuminate is not present, the cement has good resistance against attack by sulfate and some dilute acids and is particularly suitable to see and underwater work. Now, the properties of high alumina cement are very important and one interesting point regarding the setting is the initial setting time is more than the OPC. So, we have enough time to place this cement. This cement has lesser finer setting time. Its rapid hardening properties arise due to calcium aluminate as the predominant compound. High alumina cement has very high early compressive strength and has high heat of hydration in comparison to OPC 43 grade. High alumina cement has initial setting time of about 3.5 to 4 hours and final setting time of 5 to 5.5 hours. Now let's discuss about strength and from which this cement is safe or in which condition this is suitable for the use. It hardens and develops strength very rapidly. One day strength is 30 Newton square millimeter and three day strength is 35 Newton square millimeter, giving out a great amount of heat. It should not be used in place where the temperature exceeds 18 degrees Celsius and it is extremely resistant to action of fire, chemical attack, seawater, acidic water and sulfate. High alumina cement is preferred for use in cold regions due to high heat of hydration. The fineness is 225 square meter per kg. The expansion is 5 mm. It is used for refractory concrete in industries and it is widely used for precasting. Now let's discuss about Portland slag cement. As the name suggests, it is used for slag generation from the blast furnace. So it is environment friendly. And how this slag improves the properties of cements will be discussed right now. It is made by intergrinding Portland cement clinker and granulated blast furnace slag and gypsum. The slag contains oxide of lime silica and alumina. The properties of this slag cement are like those of OPC, but they have a lower lime and high silica and alumina content. The cement gains its strength slowly, but the final product of the cement is very resistive to mixing attack, which now we will be seeing. The blast furnace slag is less reactive than OPC and gains strength a little more slowly during the first 28 days. It has higher percentage of calcium trisilicate. With higher slag content, it has high sulfate resistance, rendering to suitable use in environment exposed to sulfate and is specified for marine work or pipe carrying water containing chemical or sewage. The cement has high volume of slag, so slag plays an important role in the context of many properties. 
slag content in the cement varies between 25 to 65 percent of the total mass of the mixture. The specific surface area of cement should not be less than 225 square per kg. The expansion of cement should not be more than 10 mm and 0.8% when tested by leach atelier method and autoclave test. Now let's discuss about the setting time of this cement. This cement gains strength very slowly. So this can be used in mass concreting. It can be used in all places where OPC is used, but due to its low heat of hydration, it can also be used for mass concreting. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe the channel.